All right, and a program that, at least for the time being, and you have to feel good about them for the future as well, Stephen F. Austin, another year in the tournament, of course, have a terrific time in the tournament last year. We're joined by Stephen F. Austin, head coach Brad Underwood. Coach Underwood, how are you feeling tonight with another tournament bid? Oh, I don't know how uh, how I could be much better. Uh, <laughs> it's, ter- it's, it's, it's terrific. Uh, I don't think you ever get tired as, as a basketball coach of, of enjoying the moment of Selection Sunday. And, and when you know you're in a one-bid leg uh, and you know how hard that is and how 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 much pressure that is, uh, it's, it's a great, great feeling. Coach, you were a pretty uh, sought-after team last year as a, an upset special type team, and, and you pulled that off. When I look at your statistics and what you've done this year, it seems like you're not even getting as much credit as you should, but you might be just as good or talented a team. Can you compare uh, what last year's team was to this year's team? Well, this year's, this year's team's a lot deeper. We have, we have a lot more depth, uh, and we score the ball easier. Um, we're, we're, um, uh, we were challenged at times last year uh, scoring the ball. If we didn't have Jacob Parker and Desmond Heyman on the floor last year, at times we, we could really struggle on the offensive end. Uh, this year it comes a little easier. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, uh, we, we – I'm, I'm not sure if we were able to withstand uh, last year uh, – guys getting in foul trouble this year we've been able to play through that a little bit better and 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 our new guys uh we're a little more athletic we're a little quicker uh we're still not a real big team uh but uh, you know it's it's been a process with this team getting getting the, the five new guys to go in but we've got 10 guys averaging double figure minutes last year we didn't have that coach when you look ahead now at utah what do you know about the Utes, and uh what are you confident in going into the game and where are your concerns that you were are looking to fix or at least address in the next few days well larry does an unbelievable job and and uh, uh the job he has done in terms of of literally starting from from ground zero uh and and now has that team uh in the tournament uh, obviously they've got an outstanding guard and right um I know they're they're extremely big in terms of their starting five. Uh, they're an explosive team. I have not seen a lot of them. I saw them a little bit early uh, in the year, but uh, uh, you know the the big kid inside is is, is a handful, and, and they're a team that's big. And I know Larry coaches the heck out of them, and and they guard, and uh, they're a team that is um, you know very very good on the offensive end in terms of running and getting the shots that he wants them to do. But the the right kid is special, and and. Uh, you know, we've got our hands full in transition with him. All right, and how much does it matter to you who you're playing in that first round? Obviously, you're game planning. Obviously, you're scheming for the team you're playing. But is it a situation where you're more focused on correcting and improving your own squad, or is it a situation of you're really honing in on, uh, on attacking Utah in a unique way? Oh, I think it's a little of both. I think, you know, I think every game that, that we go into and, and – um, you know, we're with the mindset that we can win that game. And, and I don't want to be around people that aren't of that mindset. And, and uh, I sure the heck don't want my players, uh, you know, thinking they're going into the Utah game with the idea of losing. Right. Uh, you know, I think the, the one thing that, uh, you know, we'll game plan for them and as, as the week progresses here and, and fine-tune some things. And, and, and then we'll take some things that we know we have to do better. Um, you know, based um, you know partly on what Utah will try to do to us, and 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 just some simple things we need to to make sure we do uh, as a collective group a little better. Where is that focus with what you need to improve upon? Well, I think we I think we continue uh, at times to be a little bit of of a team that uh, gets a little turnover heavy uh, at times, and at times we're you know we're one of the top, we were the number one assist team in the country. Uh, we had a great assist to turn the turnover ratio, but it was, uh, we've had that game periodically just pop up where we have, you know, 17 or 18 turnovers. And, right. and uh, a lot of that is mental focus. I don't expect that to be an issue, but we continue to work, uh, um, you know, fine tuning our chemistry on the offensive end as, as well as we do defensively. All right. Brad Underwood, thank you very much for your time and good luck to, uh, to SFA. Guys, I appreciate you having me on. Thanks, Thank Coach. You. Good luck. Thank you very much.